John O'Connor of Career Pro Inc. As you may know, I'm always talking about the importance of networking and the power of networking. In this video, I hope to show some reasons behind that. The first reason is fantastic speakers that give you great topics to think and engage, like my friend Gary Tomlinson. Good evening, everyone. I'm here with my good friend John O'Connor, and we are networking here at FANG, Financial Executive Networking Group. I have the wonderful opportunity to be the presenter tonight, and my topic is Closing the Gap between strategy and execution. As Jim Collins Research Group said, it isn't strategy that separates the good from the great, it's execution. As you can see, speakers like Gary give you ideas that you can immediately apply to your career. The second reason I believe that networking is so essential is it gives you a chance to listen and learn, specifically from other attendees. Listen to their needs, their wants, their desires, and you can apply what you know to interact with them a lot better. Here's Terry Conlon with some tips on how to do that. We're getting ready to hear Gary Tomlinson speak about execution. And as John has said on many occasions, these networking groups are absolutely critical. You don't know who you're going to be able to reach out and touch, both by online networking groups as well as meeting here. Come equipped with a plan to a networking group. Be prepared to share valuable information. Be prepared to give away advice. Be prepared to receive advice. Approach it both with confidence as well as with a certain amount of humility and you'll get a massive amount out of it. Terry gives great advice on how to come to a networking event prepared. And you need to come prepared, but like Gary said, that's only your strategy. Your execution is next. Now a client of mine, Tom Coffey, talks about what he learned at a networking event, what he gained. This is him right after, moments after, a small group networking event. And you can hear the essential information. Professional, some of the things that we talked about today in the group were some of the generational issues um, uh, when you're interviewing for a position, um, as well as um, understanding some of the questions that could be asked, especially uh, what are some of your weaknesses, for example, and how to address those things positively and proactively with the recruiters that you're uh, talking to. As you can tell, these are some of the great things you can get from networking. Listening, learning, applying, finding out more about the strategy, but also the execution. Give, but what will you get when you give and listen and learn? You receive. And so the best part of networking is that you can apply all of those, gather in your information and material, relate, build your network, and the follow-up is critical. Find out who you related to, what you learned, and how you can apply it. And the most important thing is to Follow through when you get home, use that information, keep that motivation, and look for those next opportunities to network. Whether you're online, offline, the same rules apply. This is why I love networking, and I hope to see you there next time.